And I run, I run so far away I just ran, I couldn't get away Couldn't get away Ha ha ha! It's a pirate's life for me In this new playthrough of Bagel Tech Yes, it's back again You didn't think I'd leave you all behind now, did you? Just testing the volume Make sure that this thing is actually, like, oh, my microphone's coming from it. Come on, stupid thing. Oh, my microphone's coming there we from go, right, uh, so. That's good, that's good, that's good. Right, so, fresh playthrough. As a pirate's faction, that's what we're going to do. We've started our new one. Uh, this is, uh, it's called Killer's Marauders. I don't know why the, the company's called Killer's Marauders. Hey, Master, how you doing? Oh, there we go. Um. Oh, God, it was like... Uh, Carla, oh yeah, it was, it was, it was Carla's, it's supposed to be Carla's Crushers, that's what it's supposed to be. Oh, fuck's sake, caps lock. Uh, Carla, Carla's Crushers, that's what it's supposed to be called. Because she's Carla Killer Kowalski. Hey, man, did you hire Russ and EA as consultants to teach you how to take everything from, from the people? EA will show you how to take their money and Russ for the hopes and streams. What? What do you mean? What have I done? What do you mean? I, no, 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 no. We're not. We're not doing that level of piracy. We're not that scummy. I mean, we're going to be scummy. We're just going to be pirates, but we're not going to be like Russ and EA level of scummy. So um, we're just going to kick off. We started in Lyaton. Uh, we're going to work obviously for the 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 pirates. Yeah, on our our first lance. I'm taking the Centurion. Uh, we have a, a blow job. Got a panther, and just for the lolskis, we're gonna take the locust as well. Um, uh, so my pilot's killer. Uh, we're gonna bring gargoyle, and uh, we're gonna get rifle. He's gonna be in, in that, and and king, the most powerful of all heroes. And this is our, our new uh, motley crew of uh, of BattleTech pirates. Hey, cool show you doing. I'm doing good. Yourself. Sorry, if you had noise, I was just adjusting the microphone height. It's a rainy day where I am. Hey, Totty, how you doing? Oh, it's good to hear, good to hear, Totty. BFG, hey, how you doing? So, I've never really played a pirate perspective before. And for anyone, uh, one of the most common questions I get asked whenever I say I'm going to do another playthrough is, am I going to do a modded playthrough? Well, I decided to look at two of the biggest mods. I've not installed any of them. I mean, I just I looked around on the net. And what I've discovered is that Rogue Tech seems to have a very big online part. And also, I'm a little bit wary of running an installer uh, for a mod, personally. Because it was a mod that fucked up my computer last time. Uh, I'm not saying that that theirs is poorly coded or is likely to cause a crash or anything. It's just I'm a little bit wary. Okay, but the other thing with Rotec is it seems like I, I'm not entirely sure. Are all the mechs that are listed in that mod are they actually modelled in in-game? Because okay. if they are, there's a shitload of mechs. Like more more than more than makes any uh, any normal sense. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't really expecting there to be quite that many fucking uh, mechs in the game. And uh, if they were all new models or not. And the other one I looked at was Battletech Advanced, uh, the 3062 mod, which I've heard more positive than negative about that mod, uh, personally. I I've heard more people talking, uh, saying that kind of things about it. Uh, there seems, uh, from what I can tell, there seems to be a, a slightly negative uh, view. Well, yeah, we may have detected it. We may have Commander? detected it. But what, what I'm noticing is, is that this panther just can't jump into the trees. They use current models as stand-ins. Ah, right, I, I thought so, because they, they boast like over a thousand new variants, 500 new max. So I'm thinking, really? They got 500 new models in there, did they? So, yeah, um, 
that, I think that's one of the things that would annoy me as a, as a purist about Battletech, which I know probably irks a lot of people, but the idea of running around with a mech that says it's it's like, oh yeah, this is such and such, it's like, it's not. It's not. That's You're fine. lying. And stop lying to me. Why are you lying to me? I'd be like that, to be honest. Ah, you see this one? I fucked up there. I should have, uh, I should have run the locust in first. Ah, oh, it's alright. The 1v's coming over here. It's fine. <coughs> hey, Papa Slump. How you doing? Look at this pathetic militiaman. Ow! God, I was just ragging on his on his inability to shoot anything because he's just some lowly planetary militia dude. Lucky enough to be blessed to pilot a battle mech and then the fucker runs over and shoots me. Scratches me with that medium laser. Get him rifle. We're trying to make we're trying to make an impression here on the on the pirate faction. Yeah, there we go. We hit with a single SRM too. Oh god. You know when you realise that Oh yeah, this this is <laughs> This is what playing with fresh pilots is like. Very bad. Oh, fire of and hope for the best. Oh, we got a hit with our medium laser. Uh, well, I didn't move, so that increases my chance to hit. Oh, oh no, the AC-10 missed. I had the best chance of hitting. LRM... Yeah, it did something. Oh, he lost the machine gun. That's the most important thing. Oh, shit. That's not good, though. Oh, fuck. Flanked. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Over here on the on the left. Standing by. Ah, no. This is right. to go. I don't want to make that mistake again, so... Position confirmed. Well, let's run him up behind the Locust. And, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll go with a precision strike. Let's try and make sure that we can uh, down this little boy. Now let's see how you handle this. All short-range weapons. Ah, oh, there we go. First blood. Uh, let's see, BFG, I can understand that in regards to the mechs looking right. Two Daves, uh, there are some new models, but I think Rogue and Advance both use the community pack, and so they're pretty much the same in terms of new mech models, I think. Not played them in loads, though. Alright, okay. Because, don't, don't get me wrong, I, I could understand some people being like, oh, he's just doing another vanilla playthrough, and blah, 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 you know. There's only so much of his random and coherent fucking rambling that, you know, you can put up with before I need needs new stuff. I, I get that. But at the same time, with um, with BattleTech, it's it's just if I was going to add a mod, I'd like to have one that that's got you know some actual new stuff to go. Oh my God, such and such a mech's been added. Commander. Uh, sprint. Oh God, that's where you go. A sprint. Come on, come on. Pump those legs. Gargoyle's the looker of the group. She's the hot pirate totty everybody's talking about. But we enjoy the incoherent rambling. Yes, I know there are some people who do, but I'm sure there are others who are like, ah, oh, I'm not going to bother. He's, if, if he's not doing a modded playthrough, I ain't bothering, kind of thing, so. And as I said, I, 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 I get it. It's fine. Nope. Oh, first shot hit. Nice. I got, uh, oh, there's a couple of things that I, I'm doing different on this playthrough because I thought it, it's pirates. They're not the thematically they're not going to have access to the same level of techs and stuff like that that can put their ship back together. So when I do get a new mech, it won't have any weapons. So there are actually going to be some cobbled together custom builds. Secondly, I need four parts of a mech to put it together. Um, so there's going to be that as well. Uh, so it's going to be a bit harder. And the other one, I was going to try and keep rifle in, in his uh, in his locust as long as humanly possible before he gets killed. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, man. Yeah, do, I could do body painting. I mean, hey, the, the girls of Twitch could do it. Why why can't the uh, why can't the fat fat thirty five year olds uh, men do it? You know, I've got moves. Ah, uh, the missiles. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Okay, they just shot the floor around me. <laughs> Dance! Dance, Centurion! Ready for orders. Dun, 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 
Nice, you finally toned down the weapon sound so they don't cut off your voice. Uh, I just dropped the overall volume of the game. You know, funnily enough, I was about to ask, is the volume okay? Standing by. Also, this is feedback that could have been given a while ago! <laughs> God damn it! I'm always asking about that. Alright, come on. Javelin, just... There we go. This is, uh, I do like more vanilla mechs myself, though. That said, I do mod a bit, and BFG generally making variants that aren't in-game, though. Yeah. Yeah, if you can come up with, with some of the ones that they haven't put into the game. But I thought, you know, with this being pirates and all the rest of it, they usually come up with a bunch of very ugly... Uh, he doesn't really look like a representative of the pirate faction. Where's his scars and dead parrot and all the rest of it, eh? I refuse to believe that that's an actual pirate. Is that a real representative of the pirate factions? I think not. I think this is a filthy lie. Oh, I got salvage of a value of 1.6 million. Not that you'll actually get 1.6 million. Right, our first act of piracy complete, and of course, the, the there's no more pirate contracts at this world, so... And we can't go working for, for the others now, can we? Because it's all going to be fighting against the pirates. Cool. Bloody useless. Alright, so we, we, need, we need another milk run uh, system to jump to. Uh, Heratitis, away we go. Oh, this one, Totti. We're here to drink your beer and steal your turn at the point uh, of a gun. Your alcohol to us will fall. <laughs> Calls us, because uh, we're here to drink your beer. What's this? Hey, Commander, talking to Mertner, some new mech's weapons fell off a cargo ship. Yeah, go on then, we'll take the crate. Will it contain an assassin by any chance? Oh, fuck, I got a Phoenix Hawk. Ah, oh, Schmexy. Now that's a good medium to have. Oh yeah, I've also gone with a with a pure black and white paint scheme for for the faction. I thought that made sense. So what's this course today? I should be wearing a tri uh, a tricorn. The parrot at the parrot at the vets. I think it's dead. Uh, that's the that's the right type of parrot to have, Kolsch. In Battletech, pirates have dead parrots nailed to their shoulder to show how powerful they are. The longer dead the parrot, or the more dead parrots you can have, the better. That's how it's supposed to work. Pretty sure that was in the source book once. Not a fever dream. Could have been a fever dream. Probably was a fever dream. Ah, good. The power conduits are fixed. Now we can play our sea shanties throughout the ship. Yo ho ho and a bottle of cum or whatever it is those pirate types thing. Jesus, that's supposed to be them cheaper. <laughs> yeah, I, I went with the uh, went with the cheaper upgrades option because uh, fuck that noise. There you go, we'll do that one. At the moment, we're on a current four thousand profit from our starting mill. Monty Python source book. Yes, I think it was the Monty Python source book. Real lives of mech warriors. What? We're networking in a planet side bar. Well, he fetches the first one in line of Rusford, telling you those two mech warriors. Blah 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 blah. Let's have a meeting with the client. No lasting consequences. Oh well, that was pointless. Visit the store. What's available? Oh, the exact same banshee was available here as in the other one. Okay. Is there a snub nose PPC available in the store? Okay, right, it didn't it didn't generate the same set. See we need the black market, that's what we need. We need to be working with these pirates more. It's gotta be more pirate work. Come on, fifty six KBPS Comstar network connection. Yes! There we go. One pirate contract again. Yay! Oh Commander, we've been tracking a Capellan Lance. Tries they're a bit south of the border. Moving through a contested area on the surface. A few hours ago, our scouts reported another lance of unknown allegiance on an intercept course. We suspect the fight's brewing, and we'd like you to act as a spoiler. 
eliminate the Capella Lance and the Unknown Ambushes as well, and we don't want to leave any witnesses. Uh, yeah. Let's fucking do this. All right, King, you've uh, you've been upgraded. Welcome to the Phoenix Hawk. Rifle, you're still on the Locust. I read that as dead pirate screech. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. Hello, Polly. Testing, testing. This is your nine o'clock alarm call. Don't start the dead parrot sketch. Oh, the dead parrot screech. Ah, I see. Don't worry, Master 156. There's no way anybody will start any kind of references anyway, outside of Kolsch, to Monty Python sketch. Because there'll be no reference to self-defense against fruit. No Hell's Grannies. No, um, <laughs> was it the, the WA as... Also, <laughs> the, the Women's Society uh, recreation of the Battle of Pearl Harbor. Uh, there's not going to be any anything like that. There's not going to be any uh, scaling the Twin Peaks of Kilimanjaro. Command interface initiated. It's by pining for the fjords. Yes. Ah, yes. Let's approach that intercept point. It sounds sexual. The unknown enemy force was last seen in this general mountain over here. Of course, this being a local pirate authority's version of, we think they're over there. Well, I don't quite know. I think they may have been over there, but then I was heavily intoxicated at the time. I've got something. Acknowledge. Phoenix Hawk. Splonk. Lolkust. Oh, he's sprinting over there. He's not going to get shot in the first one. Veronica, hello! It's not the dead parrot, it's a very naughty boy, yes. <laughs> Bizarre conflation of the two. Got a leopard on radar, Commander, Jesus. That thing's on the wrong planet. Right, unknown mech, unknown mech, unknown mech. Other unknown mech. Yes, Commander. Rifle! The most... Daring of the pirates. Uh, fuck, I don't know where to run, rifle. Run, rifle, run. Full speed, no target. Get him over there. Is it Aussie pirates now? Um, what? When did they become Aussie pirates? Maybe that accent I was doing before, Papa. No, that was that was like a fucking West Country accent. No, Urait Iran. That's not even close to being Australian. <laughs> Hello there, my lover. It's that kind of thing. You know, oh, you got a brand new combine harvester. You can have the keys. Dum dum dum. Yeah, it's that, it's that kind of thing. <laughs> it's like a, an Aussie pirate one. If it was my terrible version of Australian accent, would would not sound right at all. You know, mate, I've got a brand new combine officer. You can have the keys. Yeah, it just won't work. Straight out of Bristol fashion. Yeah, it's Bristol fashion, isn't it? Ah, ha <laughs> you missed. Oh, fuck, large laser. Straight shot, hit the Phoenix. Oh, this is bullshit. Who's this other lance? <laughs> I demand that this other lance uh, make itself known. Immediately la. Immediately la. I wanted found and I wanted shot. Yep, missed, 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 missed. <laughs> Basically, she just did the uh, the archer equivalent of covering Negative fire, damage. just Negative shot damage. in every general direction, <laughs> spraying her muck. Splunk. She must be a veteran of stump hole caverns for anyone who gets the reference there. Bonus points for anyone who does get the reference of, to stump hole caverns. Aussies are just Brits in exile. Well, I mean, yeah, that, that's how it started out, wasn't it? Wink, wink, wink. Nope. Oh, shit. It's the deadly canopian lance of two mechs. So, so that's a thing. Go for it, yeah. <laughs> go for it, rifle. 
Yes, I'm playing Vanilla Doomsday. Playing a pirate playthrough in Vanilla. All weapons are go. Oh, brutal. Rifle proving his worth once again. I got fire starter. Oh, what the fuck is this? Ow. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Don't turn your CT to the missiles. Isn't the Aussie accent a rip-off of the Scouse one? I've, I don't know who who is who's to be more offended by this statement. Oh, oh! I thought he was going to machine gun fire and uh, flame of the locust there, but apparently he uh, he chose not to. It's very unusual. All right, killer. That ain't killer. That ain't meat. Time to get out there. Yeah, that's it. You just moonwalk through a, through a fucking ally into the uh, into the tree line there. That that makes sense. That physics. I fucking love physics, me. It's great, isn't it? It could be the, like the least Scouse accent ever. It just feels so fucking fake. So if you're wondering where I live, it ain't la. It's like fuck off. Enforcer? Oh shit. So forceful. Oof. Well. Yep, that mech's dead. They died. Uh, to be honest, it's... Let, let's face it, it's mostly the Canopians' fault for, I don't know, sending in... Two light mechs. Apparently for an intercept mission against the Capellan lands. Manx are one of... Oh, fucking... Fucking Manx. Fucking Manx unions. God, I, I had to listen. I had to listen more because the bro watches a lot of videos of these uh, people who believe the Earth is flat, right? And one of them was this heinous fucking piece of shit who had had one of those like really nasally Mancunian accents. No, I. You know, it was like it was really fucking irritating to listen to. I, I just spent the whole the whole time just wound up. <laughs> It's a twisted fire starter. Ah, eight. <laughs> the cooks have buff hands, finds out on bricks. Fucking scousers. Yeah, that's true. We will we will take your shit. Oh, no, what? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, that's a great, that's a smart idea, isn't it? Yeah, just expose your rear to the enforcer that just killed your friend, by the way. Yeah, because that, that's that's a that's a smart tactical move. That's smooth, smooth tactics there. Uh, I'm not really sure. That gives me the highest evasion, which <laughs> might keep me alive. It's my, I, I don't want to lose rifle this early. We, we want to see how long rifle can live for, right? Is this the real rifle? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a locust, no escape from the Thanatos. Open left arm, his ammo is plain to see. Commander? Right. Did you say that right there, kid? Oh, man for it, yeah. Ooh, yeah. What the fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> Jeez, fucking light show. I think if I get everyone round this rock, they'll shoot the fire starter instead. Nope, Enforcer, shoot the fire starter. Shoot him in the back. Shoot him in the back. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes, that's what we want. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Shoot his ass off. Oh, uh, uh, fire is bullshit. That is many layers of bullshit. I wish to be able to use my auto cannon 10. Okay, straight shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Okay, well, it's not that the AC 10 didn't miss. <laughs> it's, it's fucking unintentional. Funny, though. Oh, oh mercy! Oh, fuck. <laughs> fight at the fight at the fucking enforcer! 
clocked the <laughs> clocked him in the face. Ah, oh, it had to be there. Yes. Up oh, hit. Okay, we'll go an internal on the on the on the enforcer. We'll get there eventually. Oh no, not the other fire starter. Please. The body is weak. The the mind is willing. Right, so what what does the fire starter do? Of course, he runs over to club the Centurion with what's left of his mech. I mean, granted, yes, the Centurion did just accidentally clock it with the AC-10. So I guess I can understand why the fire starts pissed. Ah, my spine. Fuck. Oh, overheat as well. Not shut down, but overheat. And I took structure damage. Fuck. That's annoying. Well, rifle... You have to you have to deal with this annoying little piss ant over here. Like Giving fucking smack him. Okay, well his other arm's gone, so I I guess swings and roundabouts. Uh, we are pinned. Uh, okay, it's another locust. Well, I know what my centurion's going to do. It's going to sprint. It gains a whole one evasion though if it sprints. There's not really much else it can do though because it... <laughs> Fuck's sake. Alright, just, I guess, just walk over into those trees. And then vent heat, I guess. Brace for some... Yeah, I think they are, aren't they, Stonecrow? Yeah, they are putting those Chaos Machine Spirits. Uh, See, the enforcer's got the right idea. He's going, well, that fire starter's weak. I'm I'm going to go ruin his day. But the the others, the, the others are, are a bit weird. No, I, I don't want you to move over and punch the enforcer in the face, because that's asking for a, a, a killing. But this is the most dangerous mech on the field. He's got to go down. He's got to die. Okay, left arm destroyed, which is... Is large laser. That's that's good, of course. I'm not poo pooing the whole destruction of the left arm. Would have liked it if it had been the CT. That would have been uh, a far more acceptable outcome here. Uh, well, if we drop the two AC2s, can we add the other medium? No, that's uh, that's that's just an admittance of homosexuality right there. Apparently. Oh, hit hit. Oh, both in the leg. Ah, oh, it's gonna be one of those rounds. Oh shit! Oh fucking! You know when you when you fear death from above. Oh, you bastard! Oh no, my heat spike. Oh, almost shut down. Fuck. Armor my heat gauge is getting pretty high. This is where this. He's gonna go. He's gonna do it again. He's gonna attack the centurion. Jesus Christ! Basically, I've just got an extra enemy mech on their side. Oh good, my medium lasers crit. That's brilliant. Oh, and there's more heat. Oh, and it's all internal damage. Of course, I blame the Locust for its inability here to deal with this little fecker. But Position confirmed. This was a half-school mission. Uh, I think it was half-school. It's a half or a one-school mission. I copy. Is that is that enough? No, all I did was crit a flamer. So, that's a thing. Here comes the other locust. Hopefully it'll pick a different target. It'll probably it'll pick the centurion. Let, um, who, who am I kidding? It's going to be the centurion that it shoots. Yeah, of course, of course it's going to pick on the centurion. Oh, head hit, pilot injury. Well, it had to happen eventually, didn't it? It's the one thing I would like to be able to mod. Would be to mod an ability to not have the fucking headshots. Remove them for me as well as for the enemy. That 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 would be completely acceptable. All right? Can you can you just fuck off? Yeah. Thanks. Cause I'm getting sick of that shit. I'm I'm probably gonna get down now. But Jesus, the thing just wouldn't fucking die. Uh. uh do I want to jump or do I just I just want to walk over here? I think. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I got a crit. And it's like, yeah, but it was a really crap one. 
Alright, can you please kill the enforcer? Oh, thank god. Yeah, just dump everything into it. Just kill him. Okay, well, the Centurion might not get shot in the back now. Alright, Firestar was jumping away after he got kicked, but he is still going to fire his lasers. Ah, leg, leg shot is fine. That's fine. <laughs> I broke his left toe actuator. Do I get a bonus? Yeah. It is the equivalent of that, isn't it? Look, boss, I did a thing. Do I get rewards now? No, you're a fucking idiot. You didn't break anything important. Other than my heart. Alright. Alright, rifle. I've got a mission for you. Let's see how you this. CT shoot the... It shot this... This uh, this fucking fire star. Oh, good. Another crit and the flamer. Yes, it's the most important crit. Here comes this little fucking bastard. Mm. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I knew, the, I knew the rear attack was coming eventually. Yes, I know, warning, blah, blah, blah. Oh, he's, he's got split shot. This guy's elite. This guy's a new level of pilot. Holy crap. Ah, ha, ha, there goes your leg. And your arm. And your torso. And your face. Splunk. Reading you. Well, I think it it, it fits, doesn't it? The uh, the rickety startup pirate group having a bit of a tough time against a bunch of house pilots is makes sense. Can we whack in the AC, or we could put in an AC two. There we go. Look at that. Down he goes. Uh, no, 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 no. Alpha strike the focus while he's lying down. Oh yeah. Another successful mission in the bag, Commander. I thought it said bog for a second. Let's debrief us. This one went down the shitter quicker than last time we went to fucking uh, the Taj Mahal on the on the high street, guys. This this is fucking terrible. Oh god, even the blackjacks real real toss going up. Oof. Oh, see, medium laser got damaged. There's a lot of fire starters, isn't it? Look at this salvage. Oh, we'll take the enforcer piece. The the, the only salvageable bit that was left of it. Uh something special about the AC ten, is there? Um I don't remember they asked about fire starter and Stuff like that is kind of shit, isn't it? Like a lot of jump jets. Um, PPCs are always expensive. I was given two bits of a panther anyway, so I've nearly got a, a spare panther, a pink panther. That's where Darius hides when you're on planet fighting. That's, that's where so did Echo on comes. <laughs> He's in the shitter. <laughs> Darius, are you are you in a portable toilet? No, Commander. No. I'm I'm saddened that you think that, Commander. It's just it's quite echoey. It sounds like you might be in a portable loo. Are you in a portable? Loo? I'm not going to think less of you for being in a portable loo, but we are all going to question, Darius, what the fuck are you doing in the portable loo? I'm receiving you. Especially after Keystone's been in there, because you know you know the the horrendous shit Keystone drops, right? Oh, she she's got a, she's got a fucking horrendous gut. Rifle, he's our man. He won't live long enough. Willem Chiba, we hardly knew ye. Laurie Alicorn, oh sorry, uh, Alicorn. Obviously Carla Kowalski, Carla Killer Kowalski. It's a wrestling yes, reference. Uh, Arjun Sweeney. The, did anyone get the reference to Stump Hole Caverns? But it, it's, it's a bit of an off one. Right, um, 
So we gotta we gotta repair oh fifteen thousand C bills. Thirty one thousand C bills. Dial tone. Alright, well we gotta move off. They've got to get sat now. Get the down to cheap contracts. They've got to get sat now. <laughs> Do 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 do. These got to get sat now. Get the down to pants here. These got to get sat now. <laughs> this is nope. Darius has a radio set up in the armored command deck restroom of the Arco. <laughs> do 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 do. Oh, it's it really flashpoints appear on the map. Thanks, game. He's never actually on the leopard. Oh, that that might be it. Yeah, that's how he can. He just wirelessly transfers money. Just steals it. The fucker. He's even little shite, isn't he? Hey boss, we've just completed those upgrades. I think... Yeah, the game still has pretty decent volume, doesn't it? Or at least through the headset it does, I don't know about. Oh, you just finished those upgrades, did you? Alright, well that's good. Let's, let's, let's find you a new upgrade then, eh? Let's see. Uh, plus two tech points. Yeah, yeah, get get that scaffold up. We'll get Let's get erect. I'll leave. You know what? I'll leave it for the comments or anyone to uh, to guess the uh, the stump hole caverns. Done. With uh, terms like spray thy muck across thy bristles and visage. A penny. Like dogs. Gratis. Ah, uh, you spot Keystone wrestling a medical monitor from a med tech. Alright, go for a second medical exam. This is blah blah blah. A large cyst. It's operate immediately. Dependable. We don't use Keystone, but you know, Keystone has now become dependable. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Ah, thanks, Kulsh. He's going he's going on the crap, everybody. He's just he's just like us all now. That's that's gonna be the real juxtaposition though, isn't it, Stonecrow here? Where obviously all the writing for the characters on the ship are all these like nice people. That have that have got some you know genuinely nice kind of uh, views and stuff on <laughs> stuff like that. They're like, oh no, commander, we can't really do this, can we? It's like, oh, we're, you know, yeah, we might we might do a little bit of uh, shady stuff, but we're not like evil. And then I'm going for a full pirate playthrough. <laughs> I'm going, no, no, we're gonna f we're gonna fuck this shit up. Ah, there's what again? There's one mission for the pirates. Seizing a payroll for eighty-four thousand. Oh, how how low we've fallen. Oh no, my pilot's still out. Keystone, you're up. I guess. Hey, two Dave's gets it. Yes. 17th century crippled prostitutes. There we go, from stump hole caverns. <laughs> yeah, from League of Gentlemen Live. They got some shit recently, didn't they? But it was like, claims that Papa Lazarou was racist or something? It's not. He's... It's, it's not blackface. It, his, his character is not... It's not doing that. It's like people just overreacting like crazy. He's he's supposed to be like a, a scary fucky fucking like uh gypsy person who who abducts who abducts people. It's not racist at all. It's supposed to be dressed like an evil clown, I guess, sort of. It, it's it's weird, but that's was that's kind of the point of League of Gentlemen, it was all a bit kind of scary. Heading out. Papa Lazaro. Hello, Dave. Even the character is based on some bloke who used to, who was like a landlord of theirs or something. And whenever he 
tried to speak to one of them. That's all he says. Hello, Dave. It's Dave there. Hello, Dave. That's where they got the inspiration for the Papa Lazarus voice. It's like uh, Pauline from the Job Center is uh, is based on an actual horrendous woman that one of them had to put up with in a job center who used to walk in going, Hello, job got seekers! Oh, all that shit. <laughs> it's not racist unless you're a jippo. No one gives it. Yeah, because you don't not going to get jippos fucking watching League of Gentlemen, are you? <laughs> right, you fucking Oregon bitches. Yeah, you, you drive your little fucking shagging wagon or whatever it is that you got over a, you Yeah, filthy feckers. On my way. Run over this hill. It's a gallant assault vehicle. It's like, oh shit. Ah, good. Galleon. We can kill a galleon. I'll shoot a fucking pig. There we go. Boom! It had more wheels than sense. Uh. Acknowledged. Oh no, no, yeah. Two days, trust me. Me and me and Kitty have uh, have had plenty of encounters with uh, the Pauline from the job center. In our day, yeah, we, we know exactly what they're like. Fucking jobs worth people. We don't actually give a shit about people who are actually trying to to get some kind of. Uh, gainful employment. It's just like, oh, you, you know, you can shovel shit, can't you? Shoveling shit's a great job. You should just take that job. I don't actually give a fuck. I don't care. Because my job is just to make sure that you get a job, so fuck off. That, they don't give a crap at all. Oh, <laughs> yeah, D DWP. Yeah, where I, where I live, the... the People, pretty much everybody who works around there are just fucking assholes uh, for the job center. I'm glad I haven't actually had to be in one of those places for a long time. Yeah, but I have a PhD. Shut up and start shoveling. Yeah, basically, Pap, yeah. They don't give a fuck. Hold the location until our people can get the, the crates. What? The area's been cleared. Darius is going to be green. That's on the meeting. Yay! We did it. It was guarded by two cars. Trying to make crap, but Darius was in there screaming into a microphone and banging a dead parrot on the sink. <laughs> That's right, Cole. More at 11. Uh, um, I'll take the ammo. <laughs> yes, because I don't give a shit about the rest. I got all the salvage! Yes! 100% salvage! Woo! Oh, man. Oh, good times. Uh, uh, well, once again, once again, oh, 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 okay, there's a note, so easy pickings. Back to Heretitis we go, folks. <laughs> For sake. What, 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 give me more pirate contracts games, it's just the same fucking thing, this is, it's, it's difficult to play a pirate, only because there aren't enough pirate contracts to take. This could be another financial report in 16 days. I'm gonna go broke just because I can't get enough work. Those you asked for are That's amazing. Thanks, Farah. Timeline advancing, time to scare the shit out of you by having a, a, a brief hang while we load in the video with it jumping. Still, at least these jumps are a bit more interesting visually than the one who was at Metcore if I was the exact same jump every single time. It's like give us give me some variation in the jump animations, because I've got I'm gonna be looking at them at them a lot. What's this? What's this? I was hearing that King was involved in an accident, you stopped remember the visit. There's doing pull-ups on the wall shelf and it came loose. Oh, well, let's develop an exercise regime then. King has suffered an injury. Great. 23 days. What does she do? Fucking brain herself on a bin lid or something. What the fuck did she... How does she do that? 
How does she knock herself out for a month? Well, no, not yet, because now now I'm gonna have to actually spend XP on Keystone. I'm here. Fucking Keystone cop over it. Bloody hell. Mech warrior training complete. Standing by. Oh, it's alright, Commander. I, I was I was yes, Commander. first I injured myself doing pull ups on the wall shelf because I'm a fucking idiot. Then you and you'll laugh at this one, Commander. I decided to do it again, apparently, and this time, hurt myself more. I, truly, I have the dumbest pilot. Oh, wow, there's, there's, there's like, I th I'm doing easy pickings. There's B-team and lost supplies, yes. This is, this is good, this is good. We can get a whole raft of, of, right, Keystone, out my fucking mech, Keystone. You get the Phoenix hook, right, there we go. What's this? What's this two Dave? Department of Work and Pirates, yes. Um, I actually got a JCP advisor sacked once. The daft cow sanctioned someone who I was supporting for attending a job interview instead of going to an appointment with her after telling her about the interview, etc. Like you said, didn't give a shit about helping the people. That That's because I... Yeah, a proper fucking Karen, yeah. Th this is it. Th th these people who work in these places, they're so terrified of keeping their own job that they work to such a horrendous degree that even when the people who they're supposed to be helping tell them, oh, I'm going to do this, <laughs> they, they, they just go, well, oh, well, I take precedence over all things. Fuck you. We had one where, um, right. uh, the, I mean, we're going back over more than a decade now, but um, me, me and Kitty, we had to go to uh, this place down in the, in the local town, and it was it was supposed to be a place where you used to PC and so you can apply for jobs and stuff. And like, yeah, whatever. We're not fucking doing this. Because, uh, I think I've mentioned it in the past, um, like, Kit, Kit suffers from pretty severe depression. My brother, I, I, I'm my brother's carer, so, um, he's, because of his, his basically untreatable condition. Um, but at the time, none of that had really kind of been told to us. We didn't know that there were, there were avenues for support and that kind of thing, so we were stuck in this scenario where it's like, okay, well, we've got to go to this thing or they're going to... You know, fucking punish, uh, punish us. And we turned up at I think it was like nine o'clock uh, when we were supposed to be there. And this fucking piece of shit woman changes the time that we came in to a later time, which was so much bullshit. She changed it to like ten o'clock or something. When we went back, we were like, what? no, we came in at like five past nine. And then she's like, no, you didn't. Uh, I've, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty fucking sure we did. Because we both turned up. I have a watch. I looked at it before I signed the thing. No, you didn't. No, no, you turned up at 10. Uh, so you have to stay an extra hour. So we, we just left. She's like, oh, well, I'll report it. You can fucking report it. Because you're just a lying bitch. We had to go there a couple more times, and every single time she tried to pull some shit with the fucking... with the sign-in sheet. It was really, really fucking irritating. She was obviously doing it to all of them. Not quite sure why. Also, what the hell's this mission about? Right, so I'm supposed to destroy this, and... Wow, I really don't have many turns to stop those vehicles, do I? Okay. They've got two mechs in defense down here. Strategically placed. Nobody gets told about anything benefit-wise uh, or with uh, care or stuff. It's actually policy, believe it or not. Oh, is it? Ah, uh, right. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, fair enough. So bring that on stream. It's it's interesting stuff to know. I Because they they are just shower of cunts. Oh, okay, so the vehicle's now going the opposite direction. Well, I guess that's one of the defense vehicles. This will be one of... Th oh, no, okay. Oh, they're actually heading that direction. Ah, uh, okay. So stop the convoy from escaping. So we have to push over in this direction. Right, okie dokie. Uh, yup, scumbag. Well, we got one of the four. I'm sure we'll get the rest. 
Ah, right. Oh, that's, yeah, okay, Papa, that's good to know. It always felt like something that every other country in the world just felt like had a much more refined system of not fucking people here over. <laughs> and it was just over here, it was like, no, no, this is just standard policy. Oh, Locust 1M with his LRM5s. He does, he does the truffle shuffle. He backs up into the radiated area and does nothing. Okay. See, I need to get the Locust up onto the road and it can harass the vehicles. While the, uh, the rest of the medium lamps plow through these two lights and get onto that road there. That's the Scorpion Mark II, which is strange that Scorpion Mark II would be there, but okay. Oh, these got to get sat now. Get the down to Blackjack. Right, uh... Fuck, let him have it, I guess. And by that I mean shoot him with two AC2s. Now this is a classic 2D SRM medium laser. I was waiting for it to pick on the locust, the easiest target. Oh well, it, what? Really? It's gonna fight. Yes, it wasn't like you were overheat. But okay. You, you go, little man. Go, little man, go. Yeah, sorry to everyone that there hasn't been uh, more more stuff recently. I oh, I had a horrendous time. So uh, that I don't know how many people have listened to the story time that that's on the channel at the moment. Um, I, I got in my head. Just like, I thought, oh, you know what? I'll do a story time. I've done a short story for a while. <laughs> the biggest regrets of, of of my recent pitiful life. Not because it was bad or I didn't want to do it. I, I recorded it and it, it came out fine. I was like, oh, this is pretty good. I didn't realise it was 50 minutes in length when, I, when um, I was putting it together. But I had this damn fool idea in my head. Let's I'll put some sound effects in. I'll have some ambient stuff. Because that's cool, right? That, people people might appreciate that. So I start, I start down the slippery slope of finding stuff. I'm going around. I'm going around channels on uh, on YouTube, and um, I, f I find a bunch of a bunch of free sound effects. And so that's why I link the channel so you can listen to to the full videos there because it was the only thing I could think would be fair. And to be honest, I'm half expecting one of those channels to say like, "Oh, you use my stuff, and like, can you take it down?" I'd be like, "All right, fair enough. I'll redo the video without them." But um, I uh, I. I got that stuff all recorded and everything. Put the video together. So like, oh, it won't be that bad. And then Kitty shouts, "Those bits with the radio, they should have a radio effect." I'm like, "She's right," but the lazy bit in me I'm wants here. to say no. But then I'm thinking, I'm people will appreciate the radio bit. So, <laughs> so then, then I'm going through. How do I make this radio fucking target. radio sound? Took a while, found out they could do it in the editor, which I think came out pretty nice. I've got it saved as a preset now. So that was cool. Put that together. And then it was like, got all the, got all the uh, background sound effects and all the rest of it layered in, and uh, I think it came out okay. And, um... Got to, got to about one in the morning after it was all sorted. It's my usual time for putting these together, because I'm, I'm still under the, the impression at this point I, it won't take that long to finish. By about Weapons. half four in the morning, when it had finally compiled, and I and I'd fallen asleep on the couch, I realised, oh, cool, it's done. I guess I'll, uh, <laughs> I guess I'll, t I'll upload it to YouTube. I started the upload. The upload finished at six in the morning. I was fucked. I was really, really fucking tired. <laughs> Six in the morning till I got that one video. It was fucking huge. It was like five gig. It's pictures and audio. I don't know why why that the editor makes things really big. I think it does make the quality pretty decent, but it, it balloons file sizes. So uh, that's why there wasn't anything Tuesday or Wednesday because I was pretty fucked. 
Uh, that's why we're getting to today uh, with this stream. Uh, uh, I, pl I plan for the weekend uh, to have a new Law Warrior. Tomorrow's stream, I can't remember, I don't know if Varak is around or not. Waiting for orders. I think he, I think he might be. If it is, then we're going to do a five-man holdfast. If not, we're going to do a four-man something. Possibly squad? I haven't done squad in a while. Uh, and the new update for squad came out. Yeah, no man, yeah, it's it's not it's not a mistake. Uh, I I did uh, upload at that time. <laughs> I, I just made it live as soon as it said it was HD. Like yes, but it's just blur online. Just go because I I was really the cats were confused as shit. They like, they were both next to me. Like are you are you feeding us now? Like, is this is this a new feed time? <laughs> I was like no, go away. I must sleep. Ah, <laughs> uh, but it was one of those things where I started it. I thought, oh, everyone would be disappointed if I don't get a video uploaded uh, sometime around Monday or, or, as it turned out, very early morning Tuesday. Um, so that's what I did. Why is the to hit rate so low? I've got an 80% chance of kicking it, okay. Ha! Or rubbing it with it with my face, apparently. Okay. Reporting critical hit. Waiting for orders. Uh Well, one thing about Phoenix Hawks is they're pretty damn fast. Got it. Full speed, no target. Sprint the old girl over there. But yeah, uh, yeah, no man, that's that's why you had that curious upload time. Uh, so probably the time the time you put your computer on was probably when I was going up to bed. Damage minimal. I don't know. It's I don't know if I, if I put too much of myself to try and get uh, videos up like regularly. I don't know because I don't know if if people will be kind of disappointed if I don't get a video done and dusted by a certain time or. Oh, he hasn't done enough videos, kind of thing. <clears throat> so I'm always sort of wondering, like, oh, there hasn't been a video for like two days. I think people are going to be a bit annoyed or something. What the fuck? Oh no, reinforcements. That's another vehicle, so it's not, it's not the end of the world. Ready for orders. Might be able to uh, draw some other vehicles fire if I sprint the locust after it. Such wiggly run, just run up the road. Well, at least the locust is smart. Well, we're not quite sure what the LRMs were doing. And oh, the reinforcements do include mechs. Okay, probably a light mech, but uh, it's still a mech. I'm receiving you. Uh, we still need to keep up with the main objective, though, and that's why I like Phoenix Hawks because they got great fucking jump range. Really, that cause an overheat. That's um, that's depressing. Uh, well, I'd rather keep the large laser. It's biggest punch. It was quite a distance it jumped though to be fair. And a couple of vehicles and a mech isn't too bad reinforcements wise. Standing by. Alright, well he only ran up there. If I use an aim shot. Drop the AC2s. Probably get rid of this locust. I say. With some trepidation. Right, okay, so, got him. I can use the LRMs on the Centurion to give some support fire as it gets closer. As long as there's a, a lock from a friendly. Oh, I can fire the AC-10 as well. May as well. 
Yay! Nice. the local reinforcements are moving. Oh, he's doing a runner still. He's still got to go all the way around though. Between the Phoenix Hawk and the Locust should be able to catch What's up to up, him. Got it. Ooh, no, I just, I just really, right. So, rifle has to stay in a locust until I get a rifleman. Because that just makes sense, right? That's that's the best thing. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Commander? Order acknowledged. Phoenix Hook does kind of slide on the ground. Rip rifle. He's good. He's gonna make it. Well, solid shot with the uh, with the large or not? I don't. Know. Did I actually hit then? It looked like I hit. I guess I didn't hit. Oh, scorpion tank. Ow! I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, because because the, there would definitely, definitely be a planetary militia. That's got a fucking ultra AC five equipped Scorpion Mark II r rattling around the field, right? Uh huh. Oh yeah, I believe that shit. What the fuck is this? Yeah, you get the fuck out. Fucking ultra five Scorpion tanks. I'm here. What is this shit? Oh, yeah, well, may as well jump him up there. Oh, her, sorry, her up there. To uh, get ready for the reinforcements that are coming around the corner. And then Rifle's going to have to get the next hit on this striker. This is getting frustratingly further away. Ow, ow. Really? Went internal. <laughs> it's like being chased by a locust up the street. See, no wiggly movement on him this time. First rifle in the run, two will kill it. It won't. Yes. We did it. Objective complete. Get whiplash on the camera. That was a Locust 1S. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. I'm so glad I'm in these bushes. Well, oh, trees. Trees that aren't massive. Um. Because anyone who knows, uh, obviously, the scaling of uh, trees on um, MechWarrior Online will know that apparently every single tree in uh, MechWarrior's universe, <clears throat> they're all massive. Uh, they, they have to be absolutely gigantic compared to the mech that that they're nearby. It's very strange. Oh, that's a that's a well armored striker. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. Oh, it's the arm that they, they blew all the armor off it. Okay. Well, I'd say out of the two targets here, this is probably more dangerous. Copy that. There we go. Just because it's got LRM, SRM, it's a higher chance of crit. So. I'm here. Oh, I guess it'll give the Phoenix Hawk a chance to lose some heat. That is a very weird run animation on that Phoenix Hawk. Okay, this is a jump equip mech. I'm going to guess it's a panda. Yes, Commander. Look at the run speed in that locust. Gow, little man, gow. It's to build a sense of scale in NWO. Is it? Is it? Alright. 
I just got a simple super powered uh, prawn cocktail crisp in the middle of a bag of salt and vinegar McCoys. <laughs> Nearly burst my fucking eardrops, it was that strong. <laughs> That's pretty that is pretty random. Oh that reminds me, bro's gonna buy um uh you, you know you know those any anyone over it you know in the corner shop you, you get your, your crisps that uh that you just you just pick out of a bag out of a box. Well the bro's gonna buy um two boxes of them from Amazon today. Of uh, McCoy's. So we're gonna get like the, the King Prawn cocktail one and uh Probably salt and vinegar. We have them stacked up and the cats uh, like jump in them and stuff when they're empty. It's awesome. Also, it's just really nice to just walk over and like grab a bag of McCoys. You little shit. Hey? Hey? Think you're big, do you? Hey? Urgh! Stomp on you. That was, that was a really lame stomp, by the way. Uh, uh, Moose Knuckle, whatever your name is. You, you kind of fucked that up. Wee. Wow, her jump jets produce a lot of heat. Standing by. Acknowledged. Chris Rosenstock at Casa de Davies. Ah, well, yes. Yeah. Well, I had uh, I had some um, muchos. I think they're called the the ones that are like nacho cheese and stuff. They used to be horrendously strong and they've wussed out and removed loads of the flavouring from them now. It's so sad. All these snack foods and I had cabbage soup. Oh, sorry BFG. Yes, Commander. Sorry, I'm living the high life with the crisps. Woo! Yeah, that's true. Dark chocolate digestive. You can't go wrong with a with a nice digestive. Blame your doctor. Ah. Yeah, yeah. I blame Doctor Who now. I just feel sorry for the bro because it was like it's it's like his show. It's not his all-time favorite show. His all-time favorite show is Blake Seven, but um, yeah, his his all-time favorite show is a uh, as a kid's Blake Seven. But his second uh, favorite show is Doctor Who, and it's been it's been completely rinsed down the tubes, hasn't it? It's it's been horribly abused. In the name of wokedom, <laughs> a pregnant woman, not insane. God, she's still pregnant. Guys, this thing's been going on for months now. Move order received. God, she, she's really labouring this, isn't she? Ah, uh, yeah, Master 156. You prefer milk chocolate, Dad. That's, that's true. Should we get some in for you next week? If you Are you down? Are you coming down again, Master 156? Because we missed you. And we were supposed to be watching the, the Godzilla King of the Monsters movie. And then the lockdown happened. I'm here. We had a plan. Like the Cylons. Right, uh, our oh, brace, yeah. Oh, oh, he's figured out that he can't run up the side of that mountain. He's, oh, oh, it's, it's a panther. It's exactly what I thought it was. Which is rare for me, because I very rarely guess what mech it actually is. Usually I'm like, ah, uh, it's uh, it's a terrapin, yeah, it's 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 a clown. Blake Seven, ah, oh, well, Stonecrow. Uh, the, the the bro's all-time favorite show is is a bit of the old Blake Seven. He's got all of the seasons on DVD when they release them on that. His favorite all-time char character is Avon. He does a pretty he does a pretty good impression. And obviously he was very sad when uh, uh, Paul Darrow died. Uh, not long ago. That was very sad. Because, uh, yeah, he had a cool voice, and he should have been used in a lot more stuff uh, than he was. Engaging target. Could play a great sinister baddie. He was great as a, as a kind of anti-hero character as well. Reading you. Location confirmed. 
Yes, uh, Ma as Master says, uh, created by uh, Terry Nation, who uh, made made the Daleks. A show made it made in the day when uh, kids weren't treated like absolute morons. Well, they'd have proper, you know, proper stories that involved you know, actual uh, characters with dimensions, and you know, it it had lasting consequences and all the rest of it. Not not shit like where they just pandered to kids or try and teach them moral ethics and crap like that. oh. Yeah. You should always try to be kind to people. No, no, no. Blake Seven was like, "Nah, if you can steal from them, you fucking do it." Night, uh, Stonecrow. I watched this when I w when it was released on U.S. public broadcasting, along with the first six seasons of Doctor Who. Yeah, obviously, by today's standards, it's a bit yeah, it's a bit rickety, and you know, it's not the most impressive uh, visually. But the writing is really solid, uh, both on the original Doctor Who and Blake Seven. I else feel a bit sorry for the <laughs> fucking panther. <laughs> oh, there goes his PPC, his one, his one actual punch. I'm here. It's just a firing, <laughs> it's a firing squad of mechs. Affirmative. <laughs> it's left torso's gone. Reporting critical hit. <laughs> it's down to my pilot now. Can she get the killing blow? No, she missed the AC-10. Another CT hit, there we go. Oh, oh my god, that was brutal. I mean, it was a proper pirate way to finish it, wasn't it? It's like, you're not escaping. It's just all gunned him down. Oh, the original Captain Scarlet Culse, yeah, yeah. That was a weird one, wasn't it? Oh wow, oof, oof, be still my beaten fucking heart choices here of what I could pick for salvage. Um, God, I don't know, I guess the commando and, oh you know what, not, not even that, Let, let's, let's take spare weapons, LRM-10 and SRM-6 I guess. Oh, gone a bit of a panther, hooray. Yeah, yeah. They say that uh, Stonecrow was one long-ass commercial with a, a, a thin veneer of moral moral perpetuity about. It's like, hey, we should all be nice to each other, and we shouldn't we shouldn't be mean. Uh, and remember to say your prayers and eat your vitamins, as Hulk Hogan used to used to tell people while he was racist. And uh, and ruining other people's careers and stuff like that. Remember, lost supplies. Am oh, another ambush convoy. Okay, four hundred thousand. Hmm. And the B team of oh, four hundred seventy-six thousand capture base. We're training mech quarries at this local defense. We'd like you to assist. There's a decommissioned Capellan base that we need to take ownership of. As it's undefended, it's a perfect opportunity for our trainee. To practice operating as a team in a low risk environment, we need to send a single experienced mech quarry to keep an eye on them and uh, model good behavior for them. <laughs> for the pirates. Ah, no man, you're trying to get a rise out of me and it fucking works! No! No Beast Wars! Fuck that Beast Wars shit! No! Refuse! Truck, not monkey! I wasn't, I wasn't even aware of that that thing. That like little movement that happened, and everyone got really pissed off with, with all the stuff. Um, truck not monkey and goes. Some of the other stuff. Is it? It's Beast Wars just looks like shit. I'm sorry. It it looks bad. All right. So we've we've got our obviously our our, our trio of morons with uh, Guano, Stubble, and Pontoon, and uh, I guess the Centurion. Um being it's my biggest my biggest hitter. Biker mice from Mars, yes Papa, that was terrible. <laughs> Two days yeah, Jim will fix it for you to be raped. <laughs> yeah.
Stoker, my favourite uh, is the He-Man episode where a mage summons up a demon to charm the female uh, lead into marriage. Nice! Uh, of course, He-Man's the reason I can't stop playing Skyrim and screaming, I have the power every time I kill move someone. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, could have been in Gary Glitter's gang, yeah. Remember, kids, forced marriage is the way to go. <laughs> Street Sharks. Yes, Tati, there's another classic awful one. There's heavily watered down Samurai Pizza Cats as well. Because I've heard that apparently the another version of that, or the, the original version of that, was a lot better. I don't know. I don't know what wasn't there. I don't know. Uh, that's it. I, I need to. I need to actually hear. So, so you're probably going to hear me a bit in the background on this for a sec. I just, what, what is the actual game sounds like on the coming through? Oh yeah, it sounds fine. It sounds fine. Okay. So. Mute that shite. <coughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yeah. Everybody was into turtles. Not in a weird way. Moves around shifty. Weren't into the turtles in a weird way. Who are? Yes, hero turtles in the UK because the government believed that if they were called ninja turtles... <coughs> uh, kids would be inspired to violence or some stupid shit. I'm not quite sure. Right, so yeah, there are turrets and there are enemies, both at the same time. I live to serve. Dunk. <laughs> And that's a quad AC2 turret, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. The Irby. Skeleton Warriors! There was that, wasn't there? There was, um... The Gargoyles? I think that was another cartoon, I remember. Knocking about. Never watched Skeleton Warriors, never watched... Gargoyles, um... To be honest, I never watched G.I. Joe or anything like that, either. Was... I know that was a really popular one, obviously. Go Joe, and all that shit. What's up, boss? Oh, what's up, boss? Uh, save your ass around, we'll just shoot the medium later. Gargoyles of awesome. I never watched it. I, I, I remember a few people being like, oh, right, so it's really deep. Uh, it's got really good character development and stuff. I was like, it's a fucking cartoon. It's not an anime. I'm going to get a load of shit from like hardcore Gargoyles fans now, aren't I? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. You, you're right, Dave. Uh, cool. Sorry. Um, they used to play the BattleTech cartoon after Skeleton Warriors. Yeah. Dagger all fourteen of us. <laughs> <clears throat> Lots of next gen voices on gargoyles. All right, for a start, Master. What the fuck do you know about when? When were you watching the gargoyles cartoon? Uh, it, who the fuck do you mean next gen voices? What's this? What's this buzzword shit you're coming out with? Eh? Where's, where's, where's this suddenly leapt from? You fucking connoisseur of voice acting now? Is, is that is that what we're led, led to believe? I'm ready. Fucking suspect is what I'm getting from this master. 
You had Robotech on a Saturday morning. Well, that's actually pretty fucking decent. The only exposure I had to Robotech was a, a video uh, that was by a company that turned out was actually a shell, part of a shell company for Harmony Gold. I forget what they're called now. They used to have some really annoying little intro video that lasted 17 fucking years. They used to have adverts for things like The Man from Button Willow. And Time Fighters, which I did watch. The Time Fighters was alright. And, and like, what was, what, was the other, what was the other insipid fucking piece of shit you used to have on there? It was, um... Oh, was a, there was an old Sinbad cartoon film that they did, and they, they had loads of really bad attempted knockoffs of Hanna-Barbera cartoons. Oh, fuck, what were they called? Oh, I forgot what that company was called now. God, they, they had, like, Heckle and Jekyll and all kinds... That's how I know. That's how I know about. That's how I know about shit like Heckle and Jekyll. Oh, yeah. I'm suspecting a lack of catapults. What? <laughs> they made you grandparents late for a plane because because of gargoyles. <laughs> Clearly, I missed out on some kind of uh, some kind of revolution here. Atlas. Be an Atlas, it would just be funny. I'm here. Because it's not like my pilot can die, so. Oh, here we go. It was Michael Dawn, Marina Sirtis, and Jonathan Frakes. So basically, oh, so when you say next gen, what you actually meant was Star Trek Next Generation. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course it is. It's gonna be fucking Star Trek with you, hasn't it? Uh, remember when Star Trek used to be good? I don't, because I've never been a major fan of Star Trek, except for the 60s stuff, which is hilariously brilliant. But I remember, I remember when Next Gen was the thing that everyone said was the best. And then Picard came out. And a, a million, a million fans cried out in agony. Galaxy Rangers, I remember that one. One of the gargoyles ended up on a death battle. This sounds like a much more interesting cartoon now. I probably should Alpha Strike now. I've got to make sure that this fucking turret's dead. There we go. Silverhawks, yeah. Voltron, never got to see Voltron. Galaxy Ranger sounds like a Power Ranger knockoff. Oh, it was basically, it was basically a bunch of characters who were supposed to be like Space Texas Rangers. A lot of cyborg equipment and stuff, if I remember correctly. Again, never caught many of that. Uh, many of that, that one as well. What was what was the one with the uh, the that was also set in sci-fi uh, sci-fi universe? But it was um, the main character was a Native American uh, one who had you could say like speed of the puma and and like you know strength of the of the bear or something. He'd, he'd shout this inane shit and he would get those powers. I forget what that one was. Was that Lone Star or something like that? Brave Star. That's it, Papa. Something. Thank you. Yeah, I remember that. Standing by. Remember that cartoon, that was that was that flash in the pan. All right. Four wise, I like that one. The horse was a nice was a nice touch. Wasn't the horse like chomping a cigar or something, if I remember correctly. Fire in. Eh. Small laser kill, come on. Ah. No, speed of the puma, not speed of the boomer. Oh shit, that's a Kintaro. That's that's actually dangerous. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. If you missed most of its shots, though. No, speed of the boomer. Now that that would be interesting, wouldn't it? That would have been a topical reference far ahead of its time, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, the medium X got to fight the medium X. Only really makes sense, really, doesn't it? Oh, wow, I actually hit the AC-10, that's good. 
was an aim shot, so it was my absolute bestest, most most important chance to do so. On my way. As fast as a mobility scooter. Let's not go that far. Giving him everything I've got. Because where is he gonna park? Where is he gonna park? His shop mobility scooter today. Where is he gonna park? Where is he gonna park? In his shop mobility scooter. His shop mobility scooter today. There's like, I think only two Daves and Coles will even get what well, that's wrong. And that's only right. Because it's a northern thing. In 2006, I read a letter in the star. All concerning a young lass, her name was Jean. <laughs> What's this dagger off? If you play MWO, the OB has a detail inside the cockpit to speed... Yeah, yeah, it's so slow and less slow, yeah. You weren't paying attention, Kulsh. That's it. You're out of the Northerners Club. <laughs> Does Amazon Prime cover therapy for that time? Foe-wise! You can't say that about the Lancashire Hot Pots. They're a Northern institution. This <laughs> is the man. We got into a shopping centre once, put all the mobility scooters on blocks. The wheels were about three millimetres off the floor. People were not. <laughs> it's fucking weird. Quick, ban him. How dare I not pay attention? I'm sure Fron Fron is gonna. He's right on it. I'm gonna ban him for his lack of attentioning. <laughs> Urban Mac go smash. I've oh, definitely no no chippy T chippy T. I want a chippy T. Now you keep feeding the fuck posh nosh. It don't agree with me. You can have your lobster thermidor and raspberry coolie. It's a Friday night. I'm within my rights, and I want a chippy T chippy T chippy T. I want a chippy tea. Oh, you keep the the posh nosh and it don't agree with me. Aye. Oh, aye. Is it another head hit, by the way. It's the second one my pilot suffered in one stream. Fucking miss missile chance to do head hits is crazy fucking over the top in this game. I don't know why they had it do it so regularly. <clears throat> do you ever use play uh, yes. When that when there's a mech that equips them, I do use flamers, yeah. That said, there's very few mechs that, that have flamers equipped, which is generally a good thing because there's not many infantry people to burn to death with them. Ready for orders. It's difficult to commit a war crime when there aren't any people to do the war crimes on. Bang out. Well, you know what? The main thing is you tried. Stubble. You didn't succeed, but at the same time, you did try. My fucking patience. Copy that, Commander. <coughs> yeah, but in Battletech, um, Dagroff, you, your flamers were used to, to burn your infantry and, and your light-skinned vehicles, or to set trees on fire to mess with targeting systems. Or just to create a, a blanket that would make it difficult for them to see you. It's very rare that you would ever actually run up to the enemy and start flamering them. It was it was generally not a recommended uh, thing to do. And now that ammo explosion also would have just outright killed this Kintaro, but of course this being HBS Battletech, ammo explosions are just lol worthy. 
They're just like, oh, oh, my ammo exploded. Oh, the huge rocking effect of the explosion did nothing to my mech. It just made made the arm fall off. <laughs> now I will go. Like, no, fucker. Your ammo exploded internally. It should have ripped the thing asunder. This is why all clan mechs come with fucking case built into the side torsos. So as to avoid shit where they explode. I, I get it, there'd be a lot of people who'd be like, why did my mech explode when the ammo exploded? Because it's a load of fucking ammo exploding. Oh, we're referring to this game? Ah, yeah, that's right. Hey! Deadman. Target down. Dun, dun, frame rate tanking. Dun, dun, ooh. Oh yeah, I didn't actually capture the zone, did I? Do, 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 do. Do 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 <laughs> because machine gun ammo is more power ton for ton than hydrogen bombs in battle. Yes. I would have loved it if they actually had off map uh, fire support and stuff. That would have been really cool. 23 days. So I've got two pilots are out now for a combined near 50 days. All because they're fucking idiots. Ah, no, but in Battletech, the tabletop, as far as the game's concerned, all the ammo is fucking alive. It's just rattling around there, ready to explode any second. Slight shudder. Boom. Uh, uh, yeah, 18 and 20, <laughs> 23 days, for fuck's sake. What, what, what am I supposed to do? What is it? I have to go to the hiring hall. I have to get a scrub. Arbiter. Well. Talking of scrubs. This guy's unique. Look at him. He's so cool he's not even looking at the, he's not even looking at the camera. He's just staring. Welcome aboard, dickhead. Oh, he's got pretty decent skills. Gunnery 3. Tactics for I'm here. Killer Kowalski, four four and four four. Four 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 four. four, 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 four. Alright, well we have four pilots again now, so I guess we can do the, the next mission. Unless I need to repair. Do I need to repair? I don't think I need to repair. Do I need to repair? I'll see how happens if we can go with us. Do I need to repair? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. It's ambush convoy. Let's fucking do this! Uh, right, so obviously the PHX1138 and. Oh, yeah, yep, still gotta take, got take our locust. Gargly Goyle, Arbiter, you can be in the Centurion. Keystone Cops, you're in the Blackjack. Rifle, you're in the locust. Let's fucking do this. Ah, you see, Dagroff, if, if you start trying to apply actual logic to Battletech, then, then you're just going to hurt yourself, because everything in Battletech falls under one category, rule of cool. Uh, yes, Stonecrow, yeah, it, wouldn't it, it would have been cool if you, uh, you uh, make a negotiation, like, with your employer, oh, we have off-map support assets that we can assign to your company for this mission, so you can call it like a aer aerospace strike or a, uh, like a light, medium, and, and large, uh, light, medium, and heavy artillery barrage. 
Uh, that kind of thing. That would have been cool. Yeah, hot drop with only jump capable mechs. Um, some of the other equipment that very rarely gets used in any of these games officially outside of mods are in them. Thing like uh, cluster LRM munitions or being able to drop uh, mech mines uh, ahead of time, which would be really cool for base defense missions if you had a, a, a sort of a pre Rolling. sort of pre-match setup, I guess. Being able to uh, sort of go, right, well, I'm going to put mech mines here, and I'm going to put mech mines there to cover those approaches, and then I can, you know, focus on defending these locations, that kind of thing. That would be fun. Right, so, convoy has to escape over there. Intercept can open convoys over there. Okie dokie. Obviously, they're all moving. we got quite a bit of distance to cover. Yeah, being able to buy aerospace fighters uh, to carry on the on the on the Argo or just on your leopard, that would be pretty useful. Good to go. Moving out. Moving to position. Uh yep, sprint over there, I guess. The Phoenix Hawk could probably jump. Oh actually. Oh, this is the black Oh she was in the Phoenix Hawk. Oh, okay. Well, jumping it will still get it uh, at least one hex further up. Yeah, you can get different you know, like heavy metal just kind of threw everything at the ball, just like ah, it's like a lot of shit, just to see what stuck. Uh, but at the same time, they did kind of, I think they kind of broke a lot of the stuff of the setting. All of a sudden, this part of the periphery is rocking around with ultra ACs left, right, and center, and LB auto cannons and shit that wasn't seen until after the invasion by the clans. I'm walking here. Yeah, the clans rock up. The guys are, oh, these invaders have all this unknown tech. Uh, we don't know what they are, what they're doing. The per people are apparently in the south periphery here in this universe are like, we've been rolling this shit for fucking years. Where you guys been? Woo! Snub those PPCs for the win. Oh, what? Really? Where's the primary target? We got company. Oh, there's all right. There's one. There's a vehicle. And their escorts are at the back, right? Yeah, some of the mods do. I was saying at the beginning of the stream. I, I've looked at a couple of mods uh, yesterday. The the two biggies, BattleTech Advanced and Rogue Tech. I had Sparkle Dragon was telling us yesterday that he played a match on. Uh, I think he said it was on um, Rogue Tech, and he said he was in this match that there was like his lance, and then there was like, like eight friendlies vehicles and mechs, and then there was like uh, ten or something enemies on a base defense, and there was turrets and stuff, and he said it took him like two hours to do the whole mission. That sounds fucking cool for me, I and mean, that sounds like a proper battle tech fight, but. I can understand why a lot of people would get very, very fatigued at the same time with that level. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I could see why people would just get very, very, very worn out by like, oh, is this match ever going to end? Because you go away for all the AI turns to play through, and I think it's also made worse probably by the fact that you can't really see the AI a lot of the time taking their turns. Oh, Arbiter, you're a great hire. I'm so glad I brought you on board. Alright, they have three mechs in the fence. These are the convoy vehicles, which the Locust can... Oh, wheeled APC. Brilliant. That's... That's that's easy. That's a chew toy for the Locust. Alright, you can just run the Phoenix off up here and, help, and support. Do what I did last time, basically. The heavy firepower engages the max. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice, nice internal strike. Uh, the Phoenix Hawk and the Locust, the faster units, can try and cut off the vehicles, and then the more durable machines can fight the other max. Uh, two wheeled APCs. This is this is okay. Kick the can. Ah, uh, infantry. Uh, Good old infantry fun. Standing by. I'm there. 
SRMs and uh, man pack PPCs running up behind Max and trying to play kick the can. Yeah, good times. Acknowledged. Huh? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's the spooder out of action. They're usually pretty annoying, and they can also float. So we don't know what he is yet. We don't know what that is yet. These are all going to be APCs, which in the. I guess it depends on the APC, actually, because it could be one of those APCs that's got multiple medium lasers, which the Heavy Metal DLC did make APCs a tiny bit frightening. That's If there was just the simple mod for this that would give you more uh, lance slots that didn't require like a massive overhaul mod, that would be fine. Right, here we go. Moment of truth. MGs. MGs. MG. MG. Okay, phew. I was actually expecting it to be the full decked out fucking laser APCs. Except the, this locust. Aha! Just gets completely torn apart by a group of APCs in one shot. A <laughs> hundred ton striker APC, yeah. Oh, Jenna. Hot but deadly. I'm under heavy fire. Commander? Yeah, Jenna's got a fair old whack on him, I guess. I'd love the option of taking a low school mission, but only bringing my infantry and tank support and leaving the mechs at home. That would be fun, yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Taking the shot. I'd love missions that had more going on in them, and you were part of a larger part of the battle. I would have loved it if, if you were supporting a couple of friendly lances in the middle of an assault. Uh, on a, a fortified position, something like that. And there were lots of enemies as well, but the AI didn't just focus you. I think that'd be pretty cool. Minor Chance of it happening though is obviously pretty low, but... Waiting for orders. Roger. Want someone to do a war game Red Dragon with Battletech units. That would be pretty sweet, yeah. I think the problem is is that a lot of devs don't really know outside of MW like Mech Warrior classic kind of gameplay what to do with the Battletech universe. I think you could do a Total War style game with Battletech. I think you could do a Grand Strategy uh, 4X game with it. You could do uh, I mean you, we've got this obviously this kind of XCOM style turn based. Uh, but th there's loads of different settings. You've got flight sims as well. You've got tank combat. Um, you could do a War Thunder style game with with Battletech, easy. With all the materials that are that are available. Uh, is it gonna get get the kill? No. Supporting critical hit. Command and conquer style, yeah, cool. Yeah, you could do an armor style game where you know you're, you're playing infantry on the ground, or you've got people piloting the mechs. It, I guess that's kind of what Living Legends sort of is. It's it's a bit more involved because you could have proper uh, planning and tactics over players working as squads. Lot of MG5, but once I get the Phoenix over, the the, the Locust should be okay. Receiving you. I can't turn around that. Um, promise, if he does, he only do 15 damage if he kicks them, which isn't really going to be that impressive. If I get behind the vehicles, though, they'll move off and they won't have the range with their machine guns anyway. So he tanked the turn for the hits, so that's fine. That's not the one I shot before. Uh, it was this one. 
Uh, for some reason, oh, all right, you can't see it from that. Okay, uh, I guess the nearest target. Then. Uh, yeah, there was a BattleTech mod for CNC Generals. I I played it. Um, it was all the last things I played on Command and Conquer Generals. It was janky as fuck, as I remember. It didn't it didn't run particularly well, but it was very cool. There was also, um, believe it or not, there was a Dawn of the Ancients style uh, mod that I played uh, for. Um, I think it was set in MechWarrior Falls uh, setting. You, you had like mobs which were power armor and tanks, uh, or what were they called now? Um, I don't know. In in these MOBA games, I forget what they're called. Creeps. The creeps were stuff like that. Yeah, you could post a link. Um, and you had mechs, and one side was Inosphere mechs, the other side was Clan mechs, and you you played them. Basically, they they were your your characters. That was pretty cool. It was really hard, really hard, but... Uh, well, I guess the only thing I can see is the javelin, so I might as well... Oh, Jesus. Took off his right arm in one shot. Doesn't mean much to a javelin light, but... It's a brutal shot. Ah, oh, these guys are getting close. Uh, those APCs have got some speed. Yeah, no man, you can post the link. Uh, go ahead, shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem. Yes, Commander. Confirmed. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's the Jenna. But I can't see the Jenna. Okay. Well, I can see the Jenna, but I can't target the Jenna. Okay. Well, I do have the highest chance of hitting, but I may as well throw in everything for this round. Roger that. Target confirmed. Right, get lucky. Eh, not quite. Blew up a jump jet. Yay. Reporting critical hit. Phoenix Hawk's gonna overheat again, so I'll have to just run it in point blank and probably fire a medium laser in the machine guns at the front vehicle. Oh, see you, Totty. Hence, like the noble Irby, yeah. Ready for orders. Uh, let's see. On my way. I think Phoenix Huts usually kick for Fire some reason. They, they very rarely enemy. punch in this game. Oh, oh, there we go. We've got one of them. One more That's the, the main thing. Oh, Jenna doing what stupid AI does. Tried to kick, luckily missed. Oh yeah, the Rifleman Armor 3, that's what I've seen that on the um, on the workshop page now that you mention it. Yeah, I don't think it animates or anything very well yet. I remember. Plus I don't think it the I don't think they call it a rifleman, I think they they're using the Robotech name for it. Oh, there we go. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. It's the coof. I'm dying. Enemy flanking. No. Not LRM's on rifle. He's got so much to live for. Big swing. Oh, fist right through the CT. Down Jenna goes. <laughs> now, will the APC have enough movement to get to the objective? Not quite. Nearly, but not quite. Uh, it's not... Oh, that's the sweet spot for range. Rip rocket? Why? What happened from? 
Why am I ripping? Oh no, what's the stream gone off? Huh? Still seems to be working. Oh, the cough. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, yeah, the coof. I'm a, I'm a goner. Sorry. I thought you meant the stream for a second. I was like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> like, god damn it. No. Then again, I suppose if the, uh, if the stream did go off now, I suppose it would it would be close enough to the end that it wouldn't be a huge loss, but it would just be annoying. As many things with PCs are, really. Just got here. Which one's you? I am. Uh, I am the the pirates. No, he got the. He's not gone yet, though. He's not, he's not out in the woods yet. Oh no 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 no! The Phoenix Hawk here needs to have a word with ye. Oh, I won't go over here either. This is good. Yes. Oh, also, hey, Skymaster. Gargoyles, the new Garm. Uh, yeah, pretty much. There's only like five voices in this game, isn't there? I mean. I'm ready. Right. Uh, let's uh, let's just deal with this. Javelin, and then we should just be able to get the fudge out of here. And let my pilots heal. Wow, great great shooting. Left torso and right torso destroyed in a single shot. But only one pilot injury for that. Because game mechanics. There we go. There was nothing left. Strip that thing bare. Where's Fat Tony? He's, he's not appeared, has he? My character is uh, Carla Killer Kowalski, Skymaster. Uh, but she's injured at the moment. <laughs> she got head hit for the second time in this stream. Uh, well, good. Thousand XP for a bit. It's pretty good. Uh, played give. Oh wow, more MGs than I could possibly eat. I guess I'll take the javelin and the spuda and salvage. Yep, it is about right. Yep, Skymaster. It's uh, very, very much on point with regards to uh, how, how much the game likes to screw you over uh, with shit like that. <laughs> yes, I know the gaining skills, Darius. I've been on top of this the whole time. Commander? Spending points where it's necessary. As soon as they're available, they, they, get the, they get the skill upgrades. You know, Training. got my fucking back. I'm receiving you. Training. Piece of shit, Darius. Orders. Oh, good old, good old rifle, man. Yeah, we we love rifle. And he's such a character. Okay, are there any other pirate contracts nearby? <laughs> no. Well, I guess that'll give us a opportunity to tour the stars. D. D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D Really? The start of that flashpoint campaign? No. Oh god no. I was just trying to do that with light mechs, if you could maybe hack it. Um, yeah, I might have to just go to Mandalas. Mandalas, the uh, multi-pass. Yes, exactly, Skymaster. It is. The end goal is to put rifle in a rifleman. Yes, you, you are completely spot on there. Now, most of the chat 
are probably right in this, but most of the chat believe sincerely that he is not going to make it that far because part of the of the rule is that he has to stay in the locus the entire time. Because we're playing pirates and no one wants the pirates to win really, so that's the that's what we're what I've set myself. That's the goal that we're going for. Yes, good look at this. The lazy bitches are still going to be injured right up until the point we arrive at Mandalus. Yeah, I could do the first chapter of Media Max. I don't <laughs> I don't want to touch it yet though. The pilots are just don't have the level. Hey, he's in a decent locust. I've also set myself other goals as well, Skymaster. Um, well, not goals, but different thing. I need four pieces of salvage for mechs. And when mechs are, are, are finished from salvage, they have no equipment, so I'll be putting them together with whatever I have lying around. Yes, Frun, I will. I'll keep him alive. He'll stay alive. Yes, yeah, so let's visit the shop. See all the things we can't buy. Like mech salvage of a banshee. Or a marauder. Oh shit, they got that right here. Oh, yawning, sorry. Any contracts? Local pirate organization advertising on Comstar's Merknet. Which does make sense. Oh, single mission. Distraction. Battle. Battle in the jungle. Alright, okay, we'll just hang around in orbit for two days. Pirates ambush the Argo. I'm pirates as well. What is this? Oh, fuck's sake. You know what? We'll pay them off. Yeah, well, the morale can decrease. What would you want to do? Because I know if I pick the other one, people get injured. All right, oh, three, oh, here we go. 300,000 payoff. This, this is it. All right. Arbiter, get fuck out. Keystone, you can you can move out as well. King, I, I was using King four three two four four two two four. Well, Arbiter is a unique kick start pilot, so I guess we'll use him. Okay, um, yeah. Morale's low. Get the rum. <laughs> yeah, they pay with the money they just stole exactly. There's no honor among Steves. Yeah, that's true. That is true too, Dave. Steves are the most shifty bastards around. Well, I'll tell you who thought the 1M was a good idea, Skymaster. It was the Marex. It was their build. Fast fire support units that would stick behind the lines as their Orions and other mechs went in. The Locust could set up in a different location and provide fire support. That was the whole point of them. Remember, a Locust can run so fast it can avoid pretty much anything firing at it unless the pilot's skilled enough or there's just a huge weight of fire that can hit the little fucker. I'm there. I'm walking here. Roger that. These games never really emphasized the point that most light mechs generally didn't get into contact with the enemy that the rangers they're fighting at now. Right, rifle. Sprint your little heart out. Full speed, no target. Yeah, I agree, Owen. This is probably going to get nasty and quick. Trying to bait that AI, but it looks like that one... Although that one is in one of those little poison sections. Oh, here we go. Fire starter, that's that's doable. Alright, what are you? Okay, so is he gonna walk oh he did walk through that. It's a locust. And he missed. Which is fine. Of the expression on my character, it doesn't really look like pirate leader, does it? She just looks kind of like mildly perturbed.
but unfortunately in the character, let's cut, we'll, we'll loosely call it character create. The, the, the options were extremely limited and were not that, not that interesting. You couldn't really make like a scowly evil pirate type. Uh, regardless, uh, it's kind of stuck. Oh, uh, went internal. Oh, there goes his left torso. That's good. That hit something good. Nice bit of pilot damage. There's Arbiter, who's obviously too busy checking his fucking Instagram account or something. Bother. Well, when they tried to take his, uh, his pilot license image there. Sorry, I said, guys, there was an update from, uh, from Activision. Activision Blizzard releasing new DLC. Woo! Come on, guys. Let's get, let's get hype. Orders? I copy. Yes, BFG. Your character character choices are ugly, more ugly, or derp. <laughs> Oh, that's missiles. I'm picking up a new sensor oh, there's the reinforcements. Like enemy reinforcements. So the patrol is two max, but the reinforcements will be fifteen. <laughs> well, that's a dick move. Probably a headshot as well, because machine guns and, and missiles are the bane Very of pilots. Good, oh, it's a Locas, Jennifer Locas. Who's ignoring the other locust next to him and trying to shoot the Phoenix Hawk. Okay. The reinforcer would be six catapult on fellow reps. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but that's it though. It, you you can only you can only accept that that's what will happen when you you know, when you're playing pirates, you're not going to have an easy time of it. And you're probably meant to lose. You're the pirates, after all. And we're the bad guys. Eh. Ninja kick. <laughs> Fucking terrible. Machine guns. Waiting for orders. Ah, you're not evasive anymore, are you, fucker? Fucking kicked your ass. Got it, Commander. Oh, the the blackjack really doesn't do me any any justice. Solid connection on that one. Uh oh, incoming! <laughs> oh, you fuck it, hell. Rifle, you getting lit up? Reporting minimal damage. Run, Raph, run! Get out of there! Yes, Commander. Oh no! Acknowledged. All right, come on, come on, you bastard! Die! In all okay, we went internal on his. Oh, two flamers have been crit. That's brilliant. Three. No, not more missiles. Leave Raffle alone. He's done nothing to you. Look at this little fucker. He's going to shoot the Phoenix Hawk in the back, isn't it? Yeah. You're getting an angle on me. Whoa! Internal damage. What is this? Can't take many more of those. What if we go internal? Oh my god. Not my vectored thrust kit. It's the most important of thrust kit. Oh, uh, you vectored thrust kit? Oh, you're oh, you vectored thrust kit? Oh, you'll have to go see doctor about that, oh, to tell you. Oh, I've been hit right in vectored thrust kit. Oh, you'll need more than pills for that one, sunshine. Oh, no. Oh, Magda. Oh, they're going to have to give you, uh... going to have to give you one of them syringes up, bum. <laughs> up ass. Up ass. <laughs> Have to have for that sunshine. What, what are you doing there? Oh, it's a doctor put syringe up ass. How did he do that? Very painfully. Very. <laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't pleasant about it. I'm here. He was wrong. <laughs> he had a look on him like death. <laughs> Especially when he saw my hair. He. Re 
bring pink. <laughs> so let's run you straight oh, wow. down hell the minute I came in. Wasn't like Dr. I had. He was licking his lips before he oh, did it. Dirty bastards. Dirty wrong and bastards. Dirty lucky bastards. <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was looking at me <laughs> in a mirror <laughs> while he did it. So he could see me expression. <laughs> took photos and everything. <laughs> no, they weren't required. It was for his own personal use. <laughs> his own personal use. For research, he claimed. Yeah. Home research. Home research. Very in depth. Aye. Uh, hey. Fucking destroyed every CT right arm and right also. Alright, reinforcements, I'm ready for you. Where are you, you bastards? Ah, that's a serious question, where are you? They're over there, yonder something, I don't know. Hiding in hills. Location confirmed. This is a very pleasant lagoon Rolling. that you want me. Oh, aye. Oh, aye. You're there for your holes, do you? <laughs> <laughs> of course, in Bogner Regis. Did he have Lionel Richie playing while well, he did it? <laughs> <laughs> they had Smooth Operator play. <laughs> smooth Operator. Smooth Operator. Pop your finger right up me asshole. Smooth Operator. <laughs> He was a smooth operator. Oh, oh, he's an operator. He's a very, very fine, fine gentleman. Upstanding member of community. Targeting for an oh, officer. can we get the galleon? Can we fook? <sighs> well, there's another one over there. I've run rifle right into open. What's this guy, Master? Yeah, that was probably the match I had trouble most with. The one where Morgan Kells borrowing someone's Orion. First time I played, the reinforcements were a pair of catapults and Orion, and something else, a grasshopper maybe, and they all just stay behind a ridge raining LRMs. <laughs> Fuck, that's annoying. Yeah, they could be uh, pretty fucking annoying with those, can't they? Well... Phoenix Hawk, I'd, I'd happily jump with the Phoenix Hawk, but unfortunately those uh, vector thrust fucking G-Force engines, whatever the fuck they're called, are uh, rather annoying. Although I did just blow the Locust like off in one shot, it's pretty good. With him staring at you, I would have thought it would be hello playing. <laughs> I don't know, well, on my one. He was staring at me butthole, he was playing Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> hey oop, is it me you're looking for? I see the darkness within you We get banned off Twitch, why? Too many anal jokes in the morning. Twitch have a very, very stern policy regarding this. When you signed up to your EULA, you knew exactly what you were doing. I can ow, 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 ow. Don't take away my achievements, Skymaster, but point out fact about about the little f fucking Locust legs falling off like that. It was it was a nice shot downwind like that. Forty five percent chance to hit. Smacked his fucking leg off. I'm proud of it. That on the other hand was terrible. I should feel bad for what they've done. Nope. Galleon. Yes, that's it. Come over to the Phoenix Hawk. The small laser. Yeah, downwind. Reading you. 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> Move over slightly to the left, can see the galleon light tank. Take him down. They say overkill, I say making sure. Nope. Old peg legs back on his feet. Hobbling away. Yeah, you fucking hobbling Wait, bastard. Get out of here, we don't want your kind around here. One legged locust. He was shooting up at, at trying to shoot him through a mountain. Go on, Skymaster, come on. He was trying one hell of a shot. If it had put, if it had paid off, you would have all been saying he should be putting a fucking annihilator. Which just for lols, I should go into the JSON file and give myself an annihilator. Ah, no worries, no worries, carried. I have to apologise. <laughs> no, bro. No, bro. Does need to apologise. What he did was absolutely uncalled for. But, but Kiro's a girl. What she did. What she what did. Pretending to be a he <laughs> was uncalled for. I don't. I don't think that you're applying extra extra factors to this. I don't think that was the case. It was terrible, I tell you. <laughs> Laser. She took bloody liberties. <laughs> bloody, bloody liberty. Put him in a catapult. Yeah, I mean, I could do. Yeah. I mean, it could be the dream, couldn't it? Oh, those all like they went internal. Yeah. Apparently not internal enough, though, to get the kill shot. <laughs> no, man, you may feel a large prick. <laughs> Stand there, can't see. Stand there, can't see. Okay. Oh, I. Right, what? You said I'd feel a little prick. I said, story of my life, Doc. Story of my life. <laughs> hey. Nope. Oh, oh, but. Nope. Still not dead. Locust is proving resistant to my advances. Affirmative. Alright, hop over the uh, horrible poison gas. I guess finish her work from earlier. There we go. She shot the locust twice. Both times were either critical hits or a kill. So there we go. Why isn't rifle in the blackjack? Might as well uh, train him up. No, 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 no. This is where rifle's starting. This is my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. On the move, full speed. He's running interference. Keeping the uh, keeping the vehicles distracted, drawing them in. How that tank crew hasn't uh, fucking drowned yet, I don't know. Look at this fucking scorpions under the water. I'm here. Location confirmed. Oh, everyone's jumping in with this. This one's fighting. This one's for fun. There we go. Uh, decent amount of damage on the striker, but no dice. Yes, Commander. On my way. Locked on target. I see Scorpion One. That's fine. Scorpion Two. That's where I had to call bullshit. They've got their drive, <laughs> their diving gear on. I guess they have front yeah. Oh, <laughs> the crew getting into the tank with fucking snorkel and an air tank on the back and a wetsuit. <laughs> just sat there in the tank full of water, just like giving hand hand gestures to each other. Oh, <laughs> what about the Scorpion G? We don't talk about the Scorpion G no more.
Well, I can run one more mission. Akira turned up late. Our Skymaster's here near the end. Run this one, I'll do one more. And then, me and the bro are going to record some of the best in class that comes out on Monday. Isn't that right, bro? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> 90 tonners. Oh, that's... Uh... That's going to be some spicy meatball. <laughs> He's Kai last of the Scorpion G. <laughs> it's always going to be more BIC until BIC finishes. Then it'll be a footnote. It'll be a series of people like, I oh, remember when those two idiots narrated a load of uh, Macquarie Online stuff because they were idiots. Yeah, that'll be us. That's, that's what people will say. <laughs> Hairy little brother me. That's what he's saying. Piece of shit. It's brought me a brew though, so I can't complain too much. Let's have a look at this. You see, I always judge a brew by the colour. It's kind of reddish, orange. <laughs> a little bit stewed. A little bit stewed. Yeah. It's it's not the best. He could have done better. Could have done better. But he won't push himself, you see. He won't won't push himself that level of greatness. So they're singing best best in class in the in the kitchen while he cleans cat shit. An eye for an eye. Oh I <laughs> Right, we'll do this one last. Yeah, but you see Skymaster, the, the the really stupid people on YouTube seem to uh, get millions of views. I mean you only have to look at like Jake Paul and stuff like that. They all seem to uh, fucking roll in the money that uh, people throw at them and uh, all subscribe to their, their shit. So, I don't get it, but it seems it seems obviously uh, appealing to, I guess, that particular audience is, is the way to go. So, uh, going, going forward after this stream, I'll be uh, exclusively playing Fortnite um, five uh, days a week, um, asking people to smash that subscribe and like button um, follow me on, on every social media platform going. Um, remember to uh, rate everything as positive. Uh, don't ever criticise anything because I, oh, you're just being a downer. Uh, also, uh, make sure that you obviously subscribe to Patreon and hit the join button for more subscription money and whatever dumb shit that they do. Oh yeah, send... Uh, what is it? How was it? Had of uh, super chats, and uh, obviously I'll get like a, a camera, and the, you can see my my reactions to new trailer updates for Fortnite season fifty two, whatever the fuck they're on. And it'll all be amazing. Yeah, so that, that's clearly it's the way you're supposed to go, right? No mention of Amazon Prime. I, I, is that a thing? Is that what they do? I'm not actually that in tune with it all, to, to be honest, no man. I, I don't know what the Amazon Prime thing about. Is that, is that just so I can plug Raid Shadow Legends? Is that, is that what that one's for? As I said, I'm a little bit out of the, out of the loop on that one. Well, if I have to go, I want to go. Let me granddad. Oh yeah. In his sleep. In his sleep, yeah. Not screaming like the passengers of his bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a uh, oldie but goldie. Yeah, I've heard that one before. He Skymaster's heard that one before. He loves it. It's a good one. Yeah, it's an oldie. <laughs> I'm not oldie. Come on, one of my mates at uh, college is a joke that first time I heard it was one who said it was something about his. Hey, my granddad was in the war. Oh, my granddad died in the war. He he fell out of a guard tower at a, 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 a fucking uh, concentration camp. Yeah, 
Mine went blank there. So remember that one catching me out. You mean like Varax passengers? <laughs> yeah, Varax going to go out. He's taking a busload of people with him. I could see that happening. Number of Twitch streamers ask for Amazon Prime subscription. You get a free Twitch sub with Amazon Prime. Ah, oh, right, okay. So we have to assassinate a midget, I think. I'm not sure. He's very far away. I'm pretty sure he's he's a member of the little people. I think that's I think that's correct. I'm walking here. Oh shit, the channel's been hit. Moving to position. Are the members of the lollipop killed. Something like that. I don't know. Woo! <laughs> the locust just ran between the legs of the blackjack. Cheeky fucker. <laughs> Imagine that was a piloting skill check. Oh, this looks like a great place for ambush. Nah. Really, Darius? You think this place could be a perfect location for an ambush? What you mean by a spider, a galleon, a commando, and whatever the fuck that is? I copy. Ah, you, you fucking crazy, Darius. I don't know what you're talking about. You crazy. <clears throat> you have to kill the local government mech warrior. Hey everybody, look, it's the local government mech warrior. Yay! Hey kids. Remember to stay in school and always hate the Curitans. Yay! Never trust a drac. It's true, it's sound advice. Never trust a drac. Like his mitts, I lost my Battletech uh, run because I forgot to swap my salvage to creds. Had enough salvage to swap for a couple of years worth of creds too. Ooh, that's brutal. That's a stinging loss, but one you will learn from. Onward. Okay, I'm a bit torn about what to shoot at now. And to be honest, the galleon's the easiest target for the blackjack, so he's just got... Where the fuck was that AC shot going? How did his arms even turn in that? What? So his left arm was pointing forward, the right one decided to, like, jank 90 degrees to the left and shoot a rock nowhere near the target? What the fuck is this shit? Ooh, never trust Capellans. Now, Skymaster, that's just racist. There's nothing wrong with Capellans. They're a fine, noble people. They just they just have a hard time from the from the filthy Federated Sons. All Where the fuck did the AC shot go? Where the fuck was that? There's magnets in whatever that is. Let's go look out, guys. Just attracts bullets. These rocks are heavily magnetized. Voltic surge, hey. Yeah. One funny detail is that the pirate rep and local gov are the same guy because local gov and pirates are basically the same thing in the periphery. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true, yeah. Whatever they can get away with. Hey it's low gravity, all the wheels and stuff should just fly off. No, they don't, sadly. Ooh, mm, strike a light. Ha 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 Yeah, some of those hit. That was a bit depressing. Okay, rifle. Now uh, you've got one mission. Shoot that spider in the ass. Apparently this counts as a rear shot. Chance to hit is quite low though. We'll try it. Thirty-five percent with a boost. That went about as well as one of Pete's uh, rounds of firing in his thunderbolt. Oh, that bad. That bad. Yeah. Damage minimal. You pop up in the chat and say, "Fuck you." So the supporting enemy forces. Then there's the ambushers, of course. Ow, 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 ow. Stray shots? What was he actually aiming? Oh, right, but the blackjack behind got hit by the missiles? Oh, he did. Must what? Yeah. 
Yes. That is exactly what happened. <laughs> there you go, for fuck you, see ya. Uh, predictable but fun. It's not wrong though, is it? Is it, Master? I'm going to fire the large laser, three mediums, the SRM2, two machine guns. What do you need to hit? Seven. Five. Five. Six. Seven. <laughs> three. <laughs> Just uh, sat there. Head in the ass. Just like, how was he missing all these fucking shots? He fights away. And where, uh, and after all those rolls, where does the, where does the one, where does the one hit that he gets last? The fucking CT that's taking no damage all round. <laughs> Ooh, five damage. Yeah, it's true and miss with all. <laughs> it's it's, it's the only joke out because it's true. It's funny because it's true. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's too, it's okay, so we get rid of this commando. This is gonna be one of those one of those fights where just the enemy mechs are just gonna spread damage all over the place. I'm gonna be fucking pros at this shit. Way somehow the locust remains upright. Not sure how it just fucking does. All right, park myself Got next it. to the truck, and by that he's gonna walk backwards slowly. This is an un unusual practice, but there you go. And uh, shoot the commando in the back. All the legs. I'm I'm happy with either. There you go. His SRM ammo exploded. His right torso got blown off, so that's his medium laser. I've, I think that's his medium laser gone. Or it was one of his missiles. There's something with a small number of uh, LRMs over there. Probably a locust. Probably a one M. And this is where. Oh, I've lost a. I've lost a side torso. So now I will like headbutt you. Oh no, he's shooting at the locust. Okay. Local government commandos are made of pure com commandanium, also known as gundanium and unobtainium. Warning. Enemy in rear arc. Ah, curses the machine guns. Most deadly of the spiders' arsenal. Standing by. Uh, can you just deal with the commando next to you? What? Okay, Targeting right. Well. Attack. Yeah, she kicked it in the head. And then salted the the, the earth next to it. Down. <laughs> Watch the flank. No, not the locust rifle. Rifle. Armor breach. Internal damage. I'll be genuinely genuinely surprised if a uh, little rifle makes it out of this. Obviously, poor little guy. Hey, one of the things probably have to no to it, cancel this attack because I, I I demand that you move we have to get rid of this striker for a start if we can that's going to cause an overheat which is it's very unfortunate AC 10 medium laser oh Christ cold shot for the turret yes commander could have gone better not gonna lie. Well, at least the machine guns don't generate any heat. Uh, that's that's the upshot of that kind of overkill. Yes, that's it. Fire one laser randomly over there. I wouldn't mind if the misses just looked like they whiffed at the target, but sometimes the lasers and whatever just fire in such a fucking bizarre pattern. Ow, 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 fuck. Locust is still standing somehow. Don't know how. All right, Ready rifle. Go. We're gonna. You're gonna go behind this rock over here. So the other guy c uh, has no visual contact on you for a, a brief time, and then you're gonna try and kill this striker. Okay. 
And if you do this, you get a Scooby Snack. Affirmative. Well done. It'll be you get another story on top of your house as well. Kill the striker. Everything is A O fucking K. Two max over there. These guys have got a massive raging boner to kill the centurion. Oh, it's a Jenna. Oh, well, he he fancies a fight with the blackjack. I actually did a fair amount of armor damage, so it must have hit all, must have gone all into his arm. Oh. Enemy in rear arc, but he missed. Okie dokie, right. Uh, trying to get rid of this spider now, I guess. I think I hit right at the beginning. Funnily enough. Uh, uh, let's guarantee this hits, shall we? And by guarantee, I mean completely just obliterate the left side of the mech. Which is great and everything. It's, it's fantastic. And it's, all of its weapons are its fucking CT. Ow, ow, ow. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> well, LB2s are always going to be superior to, to AC2s in that regard. Uh, like us, yeah, so... It, it's... If you can upgrade like that with LBs, yeah, it's, it's much better. Especially with the option to switch your round types from solid to uh, cluster shot anyway. It's always desirable. Engaging. Point blank miss with the AC-10, of course. I suppose at least his front armor is showing now. I don't know. Small mercies. Three medium mechs line up to shoot a fucking spider and apparently have trouble achieving this goal. Come on. Oh, we got his leg. Great. Hey, he finally died. Jeez. Fuck me. Yes. Ter terrible performance, guys. Terrible performance. Right, yeah, as I thought. The LRM mech was the locust. The other one, I think, is a Vindicator over there. The actual target was supposed to be killing. Now, the Jenna won't be able to fire that often, because that thing, that thing runs hot all the time. Uh, he's just going to brace there. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not running rifle out into the open just yet. If there's a weak target or something like that, definitely. But otherwise, no. Yes, I know, I'm low. Blah, 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 blah. Change the fucking record. Alright, well, you wanna, get, you wanna get close, I'm overheating, I'm gonna punch you in the face. There we go. Oh, here comes the Vindicator. PPC shot, I'm imagining it. Oh, just out. Oh, there it is, there's the PPC shot. Should've liked it. Didn't like it. Yeah, so we'll get point blank with this fucker. Get the machine guns in there as well. Ah yes, we'll fire the large lasers as well. Gotcha. Oh, side tools are destroyed, which is Reporting yeah, it's better than nothing. Waiting for orders. Uh no, we we'll just fire the ACs. Locked and loaded. Here it comes. Okay, went internal. The CT's open. <laughs> what fucking maneuver is this? Ah, oh, that was very weird. Orders. Okay, rifle. Now it's your time to shine. Been hiding around that rock for a while. Targeting I believe in you, rifle. Strike. You let me down, rifle.
This is a tough fight, this one. I mean, for, for this low skill mech warriors and the weight, the tonnage I'm at. But... Ready for orders. Uh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go hand to hand. Uh, I don't know, whack in, whack in those, I guess, so try and hit the, try and hit the CT. On your tail. There we go. Nice aim Target shot. This is where he fires at the, oh, I thought he was going to fire at the Locust. <laughs> We're like, yes, the easy target. <laughs> Many Macquarie feared his, his battle cry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be a, a very dangerous battle cry. Small children everywhere should be should be terrified of the Michael Jackson mech. Oh, right torso gone. Machine guns. Let's go get rid of this little fucker. So then the Vindicator has to walk in the line of sight. He'll probably start running. Hey, he kicked him in the face. Rifles could charge at their full power. Hey, Pinsa. Oh, sorry, man. This is the last drop of the stream. Yes, the map bullying is going strong. Ow. Phoenix Hawk took a fucking slap there. It's time to return the favor. Our primary target is taking damage. Reading you. Location confirmed. Alright, uh, I think we can throw in the large, can't we? Oh, just. Target locked. Not like it meant it, because she missed! Yay! She missed with the large one. Commander? Rolling. Target acquired. I don't know if this will trigger his retreat yet, or whether he has to take a certain amount of certain amount of damage before he decides to bug out. On my way. No, it hasn't been hot actually over here the last uh, last week or so, Pinter. It's actually been raining a lot today. There's a nice breeze. I suspect the heat will come back with a vengeance soon enough, though. Since uh, we're in July now. Yeah, but is the Direwolf actually in the in the mod Skymaster? Because if it isn't, you'll just have some kind of stand-in for the Direwolf, and I don't really think you'll enjoy it as much. That's my problem. Is I want to see the mech. Or oh, Ninja Phoenix Hawk. Sidekick. Machine Gewehr. I'm ready. Overheating Blackjack. Go. Oh, finally went internal. What's his action? Oh, he's doing the he's doing the the moonwalk. Slowly backing up. Oh, he's missed. Did go internal with the shot from the lasers though. I'm taking internal damage. It's left his back open. Aye, aye. This is where rifle shines. Locking in all weapon systems. Nope. 
Oh, he crit the PPC. I think I hit something good. I like the, I like the fact the Vindicator sort of looked behind us like, the fuck? It's shot. Oh shit, locust in my back. Reading you. Oh, you're not gonna you're not gonna weigh that easy. Phoenix Hulk's gonna keep punching you and kicking you. Ha! Oh whoa, what's this flying knee attack? <laughs> oh that's that's the that's the shit there. No culture, I doubt anyone on that website has made any kind of battle tech mod. Engaging. Mech's fucking Lover's Lab mod, I doubt, is is particularly high on anyone's wish list. And if it is, those people need serious fucking help. Locking on. Nope. PPC gone. Solid connection on that one. He's got to he's got to think about running away now, right? He's He's getting kicked repeatedly. And he's lost an arm. He's not having a good time of it. He's open in multiple locations now. I could blow his leg off just for, just for shits and giggles. There we go. And Gargoyle can once again do a... Oh, the big stomp. There we go. Mech dongs. Oh, Jesus Christ. Big metal fucking robococks creating furrows in the ground. Farmers running up behind, planting seeds as they go. I think uh, you should give it a try, Advanced 362, as long as you can get it to run correctly. Uh, I, I might... I don't know. I'd, I would test it on another system if I was going to do it, see how it works. Yeesh. The locust got pretty badly. Almost lost an arm. Uh, Phoenix Hawk, yeah, it got slapped a bit as well, didn't it? We came out on top. It's pretty good, though. We did well. Um, let's see, parts. What have we got? Three parts of a commando salvage, but we already have a piece of a Jenna, so we should probably take that. Uh, obviously, nothing special in the weapons section. Uh, we'll take the Vindicator part as well, as part of the salvage. Isn't that just the Atlas's AC20 as a Macdon? That's true. Ro Robocock, the triple X Robocop parody. Oh no. He doesn't have an extending spike from his fist in this one. Or does he? <clears throat> yeah, but this is the thing, Scar. I don't, I don't want clan. I don't, I don't want clan mechs in, in my battle tech. Oh, that's loading up very slowly after the game save. Okay. Might be a sign. As we know, this game is a tad unoptimized. Does start to uh, chug a little bit after. Uh, a few drops. So, uh, we will uh, get to wrap it up there, just spend some XP here. Uh, th oh, no, no XP for you, because I haven't been dropping you. Uh, that's that's multi-target, we've got base melee hit, sure footing, minus one recoil penalty, minimum range, no, we'll, we'll go with the multi-target. Oh, good old rifle, look at that. He's 4-4, four, 4-4. Four, four, four. He's getting there. He's getting there. He's going to be one of the best damn locust pilots this side of the of the periphery. But yes, thanks everybody who has joined today. Uh, hopefully this loading this up on Twitch will actually work first time, so I won't have to search the channel again like I did previous times. There it is. Oh, 19 viewers. Pretty good, pretty good. I mean, for me, pretty good, obviously. Uh, but, uh, come on, stupid thing. Right, uh, viewers. Thank you, everybody, including another TV viewer, BFG Bowling Fatgits, uh, Skymaster, uh, Dagroff, Dinu, Dren, uh, Electrical Longboard, Erwin74, 
Uh, GHFNTM27271, thank you, Kentari Star, Christina Haas, Lenom de Plume, Lurks, uh, Lyca Smith, Master15616, My, uh, Mind of Lurk, Papa Slump, Spencer of Fate, Remaster Now, Mighty Kulsh, Thicker, 2 Dave, uh, Universe, VNK, Vigo, Pros, Voltic Search, and Warchild. Thank you, everybody, for uh, joining me this morning and early afternoon. Hope that was, uh, that was passable for you, as some kind of entertainment, before you move on to something that's probably far better. <laughs> And better put together. Um, yeah, not sure we're streaming tomorrow. I've got to find out if uh, if if the Zivarak is around and uh, figure out what we're going to do for tomorrow's stream. Uh, over the weekend, we're going to get another Law Warrior done, and obviously Monday is uh, 90 ton best in class. So uh, I hope that'll be all good for you. But until then, have a good one all. Thanks again. Bye. bye. Bro says bye. Out, then. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not happy with this brew. Yeah, what's wrong with it? Cheeky bastard. What'd you do? Did you soak it in a brick? What the fuck? No, I didn't soak it in a brick. Fucking, it tastes like one. Well, you don't have to drink it then if you don't want I'm to. I'm going to drink it because it's here. It's, just... it's a good brew and you know it. You're just making shit up now. I don't know. It's a bit tart. It's not a bit tart. It's a bit tart. It's not a bit tart. Don't be sitting there. Oi. What am I supposed That's to do? A nice it's a fucking brew, chair. Guys. It's all right. It's it's not alright, it's a good brew. You made better. You just said it tasted like I'd s soaked it in a brick. I think you have. Or maybe you strained it through a brick, like. How can you <laughs> strain through a brick? I'm gonna strain you through punching the head in a minute. Don't hit me! Like, you're lucky the stream isn't running, or else they'll know how violent you are. You're saying my brew is shit! I didn't say it was shit, I just said it was like... like you a, know what, you can just... It was just like it had been like a well, you can sautéed with brick or something, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what does that mean? What? Oh, oh shit. There. Oh fuck, that... Oh, bugger. That... It's, the stream's still on. Fuck. Um... <clears throat> but you know how um, to turn it off, obviously. Um, no... It, or has my brew affected your brain? It might have done. It's just the uh, just turn it off. the button combination always changes. It doesn't, it can't change Every that single button. time.